It is these bottles of hand sanitizer which some people visiting Dollar Teaching Hospital on the Copper Belt cannot resist. According to the hospital, hand rub bottles have been disappearing once put out there for public use. This came to light when Health Minister Jonas Chanda toured the facility. We've been mounting these on the wards mm -hmm. for the people that are walking through the corridors to disinfect their hands, mm -hmm. but they've been taking them away. We are making the fluid which we use to prepare patients for theatre. We're also making fluids that the surgeons use to wash their hands. Over the years, Ndola Teaching Hospital has been producing this hand rub and surgical skin disinfectant for usage at the facility. This is why Dr. Chanda is impressed with the initiative, urging other hospitals to emulate. To see that you are making all these different types, it's very, very commendable because uh, why should uh, we spend money on things that we can make? So this is uh, very good. And all teaching hospitals, whether you invest teaching hospital, Levi Monawasa invest teaching hospital, <clears throat> what's the other one now? This heart specialist hospital, Lusaka, yourselves in Dola, Kito teaching hospital. All teaching hospitals should be able to make this. Later, the minister inspected the rehabilitation works of the theater room at Arthur Davison Children's Hospital. And uh, within two weeks, we should be able to have everything, all the equipment here. Uh, so among us, the equipment that is going to be received are the pen that's right, so these will be removed. We'll remove the old ones and put the new ones. Area Dr. Chanda featured on a radio interview at Radio Chimwema to sensitize people on the COVID-19 vaccine. Lucky Perry, ZNBC News, Ndola.